Hey honey, can you come and hold myself? Bonjour, bonjour, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredient. And for today's video, we are going to talk about oils and moisturizers and basically what is the reasons why you should not ditch your moisturizer and instead use an oil. And definitely, uh, especially currently, there are a lot of hypes about different oils, especially like the plant-based one that are always referred as natural skincare. I really dislike this term because it doesn't mean anything. Every uh, single stuff that you will find in skincare ingredient, even though they are plant-derived, they are not really natural just because you need a process of extraction, which is basically man-made. And also the all rational behind an ingredient that is from mother nature or simply man-made. This is not what is going to give you um, a better looking skin. And this is also what not makes an ingredient better than another one. A lot of brands actually are using this type of marketing to sort of trick your mind and, and basically tell you that because we use banana or because you, we use a watermelon, like high glory CP, this is going to be better for your skin. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, but simply, no, uh, it all depends, of course, of uh, the ingredient by itself, whether it is plant derived or not. This is not what makes an ingredient good for the skin. There is absolutely no rational uh, behind it. Now, the whole idea of using an oil instead of um, moisturizer, it's this idea that, of course, an oil is made of lipids. And as you probably know, uh, lipids prevent uh, the water from escaping. And this is an experiment that you can do at home. You take two glasses of water. With one, you pour some oil on top to have a film that will be on the top and you will see that the glass that have the oil layer on top will not uh, evaporate compared to the other one that doesn't have any oil. And in a way, this is also how it works for the skin. But it is a little bit more complicated than that, which is why I am here to tell you about um, ba basically the biology of your skin barrier, which we named the stratum corneum. So what is really important, and this is something that I've always put a lot of emphasis about it, is that your skin barrier, your stratum corneum, needs water to function. So if you do absolutely nothing, by nothing, I mean basically uh, no skincare. Uh, the water content of your skin barrier, so basically the what you can touch with your fingers, which is the last layer of the skin that is really thin. It is made of dead skin and in between you have um, a complex mixture of lipids with a specific structure in 3D in the space. They are made of ceramides, uh, cholesterol, and also free fatty acid, but it is way more complicated than that. And the water content of all of this will depend on the water contents around you. So of course, if you are, for example, uh, living in a very humid country, I'm thinking about Singapore, for example, or it could be the summer in Taiwan, also the summer in Japan, for example, it will be very, very moist in the air and therefore the water retention on your skin barrier will be higher. However, if you live um, in a country with where there is, for example, only 30% of water content around you, your skin will feel very, very dry. So naturally, our skin barrier does contain natural moisturizing factors, which are basically uh, humectants. The problem is that if you are using straight away an oil, such as this one, this one is the one from The Ordinary, the Rose Ipsid Oil, which is one oil that I really enjoy. It also could be the one from Polite Choice. This one is glorious, especially in the evening, the moisture renewal oil. Those one are completely devoid of any water and humectants. And therefore, with those type of products, you will not be able to pack on first the water and then have this protective layer. And this is very important because in basically almost every type of moisturizer, the primary compound will be water and then a humectant. Most of the time it is going to be glycerin. And why this is important? Because like that, the water contact from the moisturizer, such as uh, this one, I have a review about this by about like the all of the lotion from Claire's, for example. This one does have a high content of water with the glycerin and therefore the glycerin in it will be able to attract some of the water in it in your skin barrier and therefore you will increase the water content on your skin. Now, if you do want to use an oil as an extra layer of um to lock in the moisture, basically, you absolutely can, but do not replace your moisturizer by it and just use the oil on top of it. Uh, also, I know that there are uh, some people that claim you can use an oil before the moisturizer. 
there's no proper scientific data actually uh, on it. Isn't going to make a huge difference if you use for the old than a moss rider? Probably not, but it makes, I, I would say, more sense to layer you, uh, you make tent rich product like your toner, your hydrating um, serums, and also tell me down below if you want me to do a video about uh, new editing products because I have quite uh, a few that are new actually that are really, really excellent. Then you use your moisturizer that it will increase even more the water content and also add this first layer of emollient. And then on top on certain areas, especially, you can use some oil. So good moisturizer that I recommend. Of course, this one, the all over um, uh, lotion from Claire's, super affordable, excellent, excellent. For those of you who have a drier skin type, a more impaired skin buyer, you have the amazing, amazing Curel. This is the Intensive Moisture Cream. I have a whole video dedicated to Curel. Oh my God, this one. This is one of my favorite. If you are more like on a budget, try the one from Adalabo. So the Coco June one, the white one, this one will be tailored for more uh, for those of you who have oilier skin type. The premium one will be tailored for those of you who have more dry skin type, normal to dry skin type, or simply where you live, it starts to be winter, for example. This could be a good one. Another alternative that is definitely more expensive is the Omega Complex Moisturizer from Pola Choice. <gasps> the lipid profile in this one, ooh, this is sweet. This is so, so good on the skin. Also, the texture is mm, really, really well done. I also love this one. It is, of course, more pricey. If you have more mature skin, for example, this one could be also an excellent uh, one. Uh, the last product that I want to show you is not per se a moisturizer, but could be totally used as a moisturizer. It's simply the, this one from Crave Beauty, which is the Crave Barrier uh, Relief. Finally, the oils that I recommend. Once you have moisture your skin, so you have built your layer of hydrating toners, hydrating serum, then you have applied your moisturizer. Just look at your face and look at the driest part of your face. On myself, for example, this is around my uh, cheek area. This is also the tip of my nose because I do glue my nose quite a lot. This is also the side of my eyes just over here. So what you can do is to uh, use a little bit of oil on, on your fingers and then you pat it in those um, areas. So like I have said, the one from Product Show is excellent, excellent. The one from The Ordinary could be the Rose Ipsid Oil, also the Squanon Oil from The Ordinary. So, so sweet, so, so perfect. I don't have it uh, currently at home because I have already so many products, but I used to use it and I really also love it. The Squanon is uh, in a way a little bit more light uh, weight. So basically that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, tell me your suggestion and etc. Of course, give it a big thumbs up. If you are new, consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget the bell because like this you will be notified every time I post a new video, of course. Uh, you can also check my Instagram account. I am Cyril Laurent. But I have a ton of stuff over there. Thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.